Hello, and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Here we're going to conclude our uh, lessons on differential equations and learn how to plot some simple differential equations. Uh, in specific, we're going to use the calculator to plot what we call a slope field. Basically, you can think of a slope field as a solution space that's plotted that sort of lets you visualize what, what lots of different solutions might look at look like all at the same time. It's a little hard to visualize without actually showing you, so we'll just dive right into it. Uh, the first thing to know is that you can only plot first order differential equations slope fields on this calculator. You just can't plot anything higher than that. Uh, first thing you need to do is go to the mode menu. You're currently in function mode, so fly this guy out. We've done all of these already. We've, we've explored everything. Let's go down and select differential equations because we want to plot a differential equation. All right, next, before we go any farther, uh, let's go into y equals, green button, y equals. Notice that this page looks a little bit different now. It doesn't just say y1, y2, y3. It's got some other stuff here. We'll come back to that in a minute. First, go to F1, Tools menu. Go up one to the Format button. This lets you basically uh, select some things about the graph. You can turn your axes on and off, grid on and off, things like that. Make sure under Fields it says Slope Field. And make sure under solution method it says RK. This stands for Runge Kutta. It's a, a different way of calculating the solutions. It's just I just wanted to show you this. Uh, if you fiddle around with it, you can come back and put it in these positions. It's the best way to go ahead and operate the calculator. All right, now you get to enter your differential equation. Notice what we have is at the top there's T, T, T0. The, there's no subscripts in this calculator, so you can kind of think of this as T0 is equal to 0. I'll come back to why it's important in just a minute. Uh, here is the line that we enter our differential equation on, uh, y1 prime. The reason there's a 1 there is because you can enter more than one differential equation, so this is the first one that you can enter. Now you can only plot one at a time, keep that in mind, but you can have more than one of these things typed in. This next line, yi1, is uh, for something else that we'll get to in a minute. Basically, if you're going to specify an initial condition, then you need to put some information here and also here. And I'll explain that when we get there. But right now, we're not going to do any initial conditions. We're just going to plot the slope field of the general solution. There is a huge gotcha that you have to understand when you're dealing with this uh, mode of the calculator. In fact, there's quite a few gotchas. Um, when you're entering these things here, if you refer to y1, uh, or, or I should say, if you're going to type in y prime, like we've been typing in y prime all the time, you have to reference it as y1 prime because that's what it is. It's the first equation. So when you're, if you want to type in y prime, uh, you, you can't just type it like this. Whoops, I did the wrong thing. 